All right. Good morning. I'm here with Rudy Ruckman and David Benaim. I'm so excited to see you. You've both just been freed from Nigeria. You captured on July 9th in the morning from synagogue, taken to DSS State Prison. How does it feel to be back? I mean, always when you come to Israel, it's all of a sudden that you can come and, and breathe. For me, when I'm out of Israel, it's like I'm holding my breath. And finally, I come to Israel and I can breathe again. But additional, on top of the usual experience when you're coming home, we just went through three weeks in a cage, locked up, uh, for no reason. We did nothing wrong. We just came there to show the stories of the Jewish life in Nigeria, the Igbos. And although we weren't able to do our full project, we're still not going to stop. And we're still going to show their stories and showcase so that they get recognition and people understand who they are. Uh, but obviously, we're very tired and very happy to be back home. Yeah, it's amazing to be home. It never felt that amazing to like say that we are back home in Israel. For somebody that just met Alia a few years ago, it, it has a lot more sense. But we feel great. We are very thankful about all the people that really worked tirelessly to like help us being back home uh, today after 19 days of captivity, 20 days, I think uh, we would say, uh, for the, the, the full period. But um, yeah, it's amazing to be back home. Why did you go to Nigeria first? Yeah, so our first season is on Africa. And so we have six different countries across Africa, each with different and unique different stories. Uh, Nigeria is just the biggest story. It's just the most amazing community that's very different than the others. There are 50 million Igbos uh, that they estimate, and it's just the biggest story. So that's the one that we wanted to start with first. It took a lot of effort from um, three different kind of uh, chanceries, embassies, French, American and Israelis that were really like in coordination. Each of them had their roles and we can't like uh, discuss like every single details. First of all, we have to learn all the details because we were kept secret from like a lot of it uh, during the time we were there because we had no means of communication most of the time. The families were really like involved um, in um, uh, b back channels to be able to like h help us uh, get out. Finally, um, um, kind of quickly when you look at uh, similar stories, but uh, um, we, we were helped with like a, a, a lot of like um, forces. One of the first that I would like to mention, particularly that was able to provide food for us and a lot of emuna, a lot of uh, faith all the time. Is the Chabad of Nigeria, Israel Luzon, was there from like the fifth or the sixth day of captivity, helping us, bringing us food, helping us bring food as well to like one of the women that was uh, held captive as, uh, with us. So yeah, it's pretty amazing to know that uh, there is the regular diplomacy and there is the Chabad diplomacy. So that's pretty good. Now, I, I understand that when you were taken, you were taken by about a dozen men in ski masks. Yes, and now we have Noam. Thank you so much. You are the third person who was uh, taken into custody by the DSS. Uh, thank you for joining us on camera, first of all. How are you feeling, actually? I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be back home in Israel, but it's also bittersweet because we really did want to continue our project and we really tried every possible way to stay in Nigeria right now and continue with the rest of our itinerary. itinerary. But unfortunately, it wasn't possible now, but uh, we're not giving up for the future. So what I, was, uh, what I was asking is you were taken into custody by about a dozen armed men in ski masks uh, in the morning on a Friday prayer. Did you know you were being arrested? No. So they told us that we're being invited and that we'd have a quick conversation with the chief just to clear some things up. We had an idea that it had to do with certain posts that were going viral the night before that we clearly made a statement that we had nothing to do with such movements. We had nothing to do with any sort of separatist things. Um, and they told us we would go for a quick meeting, take 30 minutes, we'd come back to our hotel. In fact, all of our stuff was open in our hotel rooms. Uh, we ended up staying there the entire night. And then the next morning they wake us up from sleeping on the floor. They stuff us back with the black ski mask at gunpoint into cars, and they took us nine hour drive uh, to Abuja, a very dangerous drive, just swerving and speeding all over. And then we find ourselves uh, 20 days locked up in a cage over there. And at no point were we actually even arrested. Like they, they didn't tell us they were accused of something. They didn't tell us you're officially arrested of something. And their status of invited is what allows them to not allow us to have a lawyer, not allow us to have a phone call, not allow us to have any rights because we're there at our own will. But several times we try to say, okay, so if we're here at our will, then let us go. And they said, no, if you go, then, then we'll stop you. And we tried a few times and they again jumped on us and threw us back into the cage. Uh, there's actually one time that me and Noam put our tefillin on 
and just walked out to the lobby and started like saying, we're innocent, let us out. We made a scene for all the people there, even civilians that were walking into their headquarters. And 10 people came on us, threw us back into the elevator and threw us back into the cage. So we really tried to do everything to, to get out. Um, but we had no, I didn't have my phone the whole time. I didn't have a phone call the whole time. I didn't speak to my family. I didn't speak to anybody. So, you know, the first five days were the hardest because we didn't even know if people knew about us. We didn't even know if people knew we were gone. We didn't know what was going on. It was just one moment where we're there with the community. The night before we were really like having a sort of meeting with the, everyone. We're talking or going up like late and discussing and 